Whereas Megan, of course, is now trying to reinvent herself as a, a version of Gwyneth Paltrow. I certainly hope that we don't get the scented candle. <laughs> That's one for Google, everyone. Uh, you got to Google it. We're not filling the daily. Go, go and Google it. Complain to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> smells like Rio. Smells <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> so much trouble. I don't care, but it's great. <laughs> I don't care. So um, after everything, think about it. After everything, she she had a website called The Tig, which was like a lifestyle thing. Then she gets a job on Suits. She becomes an actress. She gets noticed by Prince Harry. She lands the gorilla. She marries him. She wrests him away from his family. Megxit is a success, at least as far as they're concerned. She gets a hundred million from Netflix. She gets 50 million from Spotify. Um, she's on the cover of magazines. This is great. You know, fine. They took some bad publicity, but she's still a star and she's much better off. And what is it all for? to return to being a lifestyle blogger. She's a lifestyle blogger. That's exactly what she is now. She's got like some, I don't remember the name. It's got like 40 words in it of her new blog, but it's basically, I'm amazing and you're not, Montecito. And it shows her baking. She's baking, okay. And then she's oh. in a ball gown. Oh. And again, I look at her and I ask myself, <laughs> okay, I'm totally open-minded to why I should admire you. I'm, you lay it on me. Come on, I'm ready for it. I'm, and I have yet to hear anything. You bake? Is that what it is? Because I don't believe that. You wear a ball gown? Okay, I guess that's true, but it's pretty much with somebody else's money and somebody else's styling. You stood up for women, how again? Oh, when you were like 10, you didn't like a commercial and you said something about it? That was like 35 years ago and I'm still supposed to be rooting? I, I, I don't get it. And I don't think other people are going to be attracted to her brand at all because it's fake. She earned nothing. She knows how to do nothing. And she stands for nothing other than one thing, Meghan Markle. 100%. I mean, again, she's, she's trying to uh, uh, put into all of this endorsement deals about linen, stationery, home decor, small kitchen appliances, co uh, condiments, and yoga equipment. Okay, Dal. What sense good luck does that with make? That. What, truly, like, what home has she built, right? At least Martha Stewart she knows how to cook and set a beautiful table and walk you through how to like what is Meghan markle's qualification to do any of this there's a there's a farmer mom here in the states who's getting all sorts of attention now on instagram she's got like ten thousand children and she's on the farm with a flowing dress and the baskets of flowers and she really wants you to believe that this is just so it's so effortless being me. I'm just I'm like a traditional wife and you could have this lifestyle, too, if only you were a little hotter. And um, the girl married the heir to the jet blue fortune, right? Yes. Not just like it's all a fraud. And Meghan Markle's a fraud, too. These grifters take advantage of people who aren't going to do the homework, who then will look and be like, oh, my my life kind of sucks. Maybe my life could get better if I buy the $70 vagina candle. And it won't, <laughs> it won't. Just don't sign up for these websites. Read a book, spend time with your family, go to the great outdoors, smell the fresh air. That's mm. better, my fresh air. <laughs> you right. Right. <laughs> no, I love it, every second of it. Also, by the way, can we just get the memo out, right? At the next you know, meeting of the ladies, can we all stop with this sort of looking down thing? I don't understand why this is sexy, but all of the ladies that pop up in the Instagram, they're all looking, what are you looking down at? Oh my God. There are whole websites devoted to telling you how to pose in the Instagram shot so <laughs> that you look better. I who has got the time for this, right? Boy. Like, and it's not just what it used to be with like, put a hand on your hip so you give yourself a little <laughs> shape. That's me, I swear. You could you could caption every picture of me with, Yavol, come and done, because I'm like, I'm, I'm just not a natural <laughs> poser. I can Where do I put my hands? I'm, you know, that kind of camera for a living. But people put, they study it just so like they're, you know, they can make their butts look a little bigger and more rounded, mm. or they can, I don't know what to do, Paul, but uh, who's got the time? That's that's what I keep asking myself when my many women friends keep telling me they want a girl's weekend. This one in New York, and this one down in this other state, and this one in my new state. I'm like, people, it's called a job, J-O-B. 